Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting the buyer series, the 10 steps to buying a home. In today's video, we'll go over steps one through four. If you'll do these steps, it will make the entire process much more enjoyable and much easier. Let's get introduced real quick and then we'll begin. My name is Trish Nystrom. I'm a local real estate professional with Watson Realty here in beautiful Gainesville, Florida. If you haven't already subscribed, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button below and that bell icon right next to it so you'll be notified every Friday when I post a new video. I'm sure you don't want to miss anything. Buying a home can be a super exciting time, but it can be a super stressful time. But the great news is, is it doesn't have to be. Just like most other things, the more planning and the research that you do up front will make the entire process easier and smoother. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you where you can get a copy of my free, and I did say free, buyer's guide. So stick around to the end and you'll be glad you did. Number one, the first thing to think about is your budget and your down payment for your home. It used to be that a home buyer would need to have 20% of the purchase price of a home to put down, but thank goodness those days are gone. There are several programs that will reduce your down payment to three, three and a half, or sometimes even 0% down. You need to get a handle on all your outstanding loans, your credit card loans, any car payments, school loans. Get these all together so you can share that right up front with your lender and your lender will be able to find a suitable program that will fit your needs. Number two is know your credit score. Your credit score is what determines what sort of an interest rate you'll be able to qualify for for a mortgage loan. Now, once a year, you can pull your own credit report for free from annualcreditreport.com and the links below. They pull their data from the three major reporting agencies and based on your report, they assign a score to you ranging from 350 to 850. Now, the higher your score, the lower interest rate you're gonna be able to qualify for. By checking your credit score before you see a lender, if there's any issues on your report, you can deal with that before you see a lender. Now, if your score is a little bit lower than what you were hoping for, a lender will be able to tell you how to raise that credit score and counsel you along the way. Number three, speak with a lender or three and get a pre-qualification letter from a lender that you like. Talk to several, find somebody that you're gonna find a connection with someone that you can feel you can share all of your financial information with. After all, you're gonna be dealing with this person quite closely for a while, and they're gonna know everything about your money situation. So find someone you like. Getting a pre-approval letter, you're gonna know what shopping range is good for you, what you're comfortable buying, and it will also show the seller that you're serious that you're ready to purchase and you're going to be ready to move forward when it comes time to place that negotiating contract. Number four, find the right realtor. Look for someone that you know, like, and you feel you can trust. You're going to be working closely with that person too. And so you want someone you're going to have a good relationship with. You should never feel stressed or or anxious or pressured with your real estate agent, but feel that he or she really has your best interest at heart. Now, did you know that the services of a realtor are free to a buyer? In most cases, yes, you heard right, free. Free is good. Typically, the seller pays the realtor's fee, so a buyer can focus on finding that perfect home. If you'd like a copy of my free, and I did say free, buyer's guide, click on the link below in the description area. If you're on a mobile device and you need to know how to open that description area, simply tap on the name of this video and the description area will open up. You'll see my contact information there and the comment section too. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button while you're there. Until next week, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.